weather sure changed in a hurry. Let's find an inn before we get soaked. Estelle, what is it? Oh, I... I just thought a harbor town would be more... lively than this. Yeah, this isn't exactly how I imagined it either. But it feels like the kind of place that core thief you're looking for would hang out. The decky was headed for Torum Harbor. I'm sure the two are pretty similar. No way. It's only Nor Harbor that's scummy like this. What do you mean? Nor Harbor is... It's I all because of the Empire. I that little brat if you didn't have our money. Please, sir. Not that. Please give me back my son. With this awful weather the last few months, we haven't been able to launch the boats. Surely you realize, sir, we can't hope to pay our taxes like this. You'd better hurry up and capture that Ripgaro beast then, shouldn't you? That's right. If you sell his horn, you'll never have to worry about taxes again. How many times do we have to tell you? Savages. Is that the sort of scum you were talking about, Carol? Yeah. The Empire's influence is really strong here. I heard things got even worse with the new Magistrate. He's some Imperial big shot who does whatever he wants. Which means there's no one to complain to if his henchmen act like that. <sighs> but how can that be? That's enough! You're hurt! You might even get yourself killed this time! But it's our son! If I don't go... Ah! What are you trying to do? Oh, sorry about that. I didn't see you there. Yuri! My apologies, sir. Let me take care of that. But I... I can't afford this treatment. Don't you have something else to say? Huh? Jeez, you guys been robbed of your manners along with your money? Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you most kindly. Guess we can do this. Damn, it's not over yet. Hey, I learned something. been looking all over for you. That one was mine, too. Huh. <laughs> that was about to get ugly. All right. Whoa! Hold on! What are you doing? Yuri! I'm happy to see you're finally seeing the world outside the barrier. So, be a little more happy then. Stop pointing that thing at me. Well, I got a little less happy when I saw this. Hey, it's up to 10,000 gold. Nice. I didn't think when you quit the Knights that you'd take up a life of crime. A lot of things have happened, Flynn. It's not that simple. 
Simple or not, a crime is a crime. Good to see you're as stubborn as always. I... Uh-oh. Yuri, I heard something happened. Are you all... Perfect timing. Flynn! Huh? Oh, Flynn, are you all right? Have you been hurt? Uh, I I'm fine. Um, Lady Estelis. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was just so happy to see you. I... Please, this way. What? Uh, but Flynn, there's something I need to tell you. I'd better go find Carol and Rita. Some guy just dragged Estelle right by us. Are they both inside the inn? Yep. So that other guy was Flynn then. Yeah, well... You might not be able to get a word in edgewise if you went in now. Seemed like they might be in there a while. Want to burn time walking around town a bit? Sure, okay. What the hell is a brat like you doing trying to get in here? Aw, don't throw a hissy fit. Have a bite of this and calm down. Get that out of my face. This isn't the kind of place for kids. Whoa. Mmm. That sure is a rough way to treat a child. Who the hell are you? That brat's daddy or something? Seriously, do I look like the parent of a kid this big? Time to try again. Hey, hey, you really think it's okay to point a weapon at an unarmed child? I'm just teaching the brat a lesson about the consequences of breaking adult rules. Just cut it out, okay? Yeah! Wh what What are you doing? <coughs> now you've got it, done it! Oh, 
Hold up, you, you've come this far and now you're just gonna run away? You need to be prepared if you're going to grab a beautiful young lass's hand. Prepared? Prepared for what? Sorry, now ain't the time. Uh, what? You brat! Get back here! Damn it. The hell was up with that kid? Hey, buddy. You better get lost, too. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess Flynn and Estelle should be done talking by now. All finished? And are we done whispering secrets? I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri. And also the reason for the bounty on your head. First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Oh, I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that Blastia thief. And that's where we have a problem. Hmm? Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. Don't be sorry. I mean, I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. Flynn! Do whatever you like, but just listen a minute, will you? So you can tell me how it was all done in order to get back the Lower Quarter's Blastia Corps? That's what you wanted to say, right? Sir Flynn, I have news! What is Rita doing here? I heard you refused an Imperial request for assistance. Do you think it's alright for a mage employed by the Empire to simply abandon her obligations? Who's that? Got me. Huh, whatever. It's not like I care a whit about you, either. I'll make the introductions. This is my second-in-command, Sodia. This is Witcher, a mage who offered his assistance to us at the laboratory in Ospio. This is my- You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! At ease, Sodia. He is a friend of mine. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation. And he will receive his due punishment. My... my mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. So we're done here, right? I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a Blastia. The weather in this season is unpredictable. But this does not explain why it worsens whenever boats leave port. We also have testimony that something like a Blastia was carried into Magistrate Rago's residence. I've never heard anything about a Blastia that controlled the weather. Nothing like that has ever been excavated. Wait. The Aqua Blastia, the ruins... It couldn't be. So his lordship, the Magistrate, is using a Blastia to control the weather. It appears that way, though we can't yet say for certain. 
The harbor has been closed due to weather. Any ship that leaves is fired on for disobeying the ordinance. So much for crossing over to Torum. Those aren't the only rumors surrounding the Magistrate. He's released a monster known as Ribgoro into the wild, and amuses himself by forcing those who can't pay their taxes to hunt it. He claims he'll pardon their taxes if they can manage to capture the beast. How cruel! That injured couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child! What? What happened to their child? Forget about it. Well, it's been a hell of a day for us and we're tired. Let's just stay at this inn for the night. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Missing person? So what's the plan? I'm gonna go see Magistrate Rago. What? We'll get turned away at the gate if we try to go there. Even a noble woman like you would have no chance of getting in. Yeah, but with the harbor barricaded, we can't cross over to Torum Harbor. And that thief Tadeki, along with that one-eyed giant, are both on the other side of the water. Let's stop blabbing about it and just go, why don't we? If you won't listen to what we have to say, we can think of another plan. All right. Let's head to Rago's palace then. No matter how you slice it, Flynn is Flynn. He's even more stubborn than before. <laughs> you think so too, Repeat? <laughs> well, at least he seemed to be doing all right. Magistrate Rago, if you'd be so kind. Yuri! These men are mercenaries. I wonder what guild they're from. I guess that explains the thuggish look. <laughs> Go home, Scram! The Magistrate is a busy man. Surely not too busy to rough up the people in this town. Hey! You better watch your mouth, punk! See? I told you he wouldn't see us. Let's get out of here before things get sticky. I'd have to agree with Captain Carroll on this one. But... There must be some other way. Forget it. Let's go. We'd best leave the frontal assault on the palace to the Imperial Knights. But isn't the fact that that's going so badly precisely what's got Flynn in such a bad mood? <laughs> Maybe he'd see us if we came bearing gifts, so to speak. A gift? What do you mean? The rib guru. It's worth a fair amount of money, right? Come to think of it, that official mentioned the rib guru. He said that someone with its horn would never have to worry about taxes again. If we brought something that valuable, the magistrate would at least grant us an audience. You propose to catch the rib guru? This is our chance! It's raining after all! What does rain have to do with it? The rib guru comes out of hiding when it's raining! Out of all the monsters I know, it's the only one that goes out in the rain. Capital observation, Captain Carroll. What else? What do you mean, what else? 
That's all there is to it. So where's the Rib Girl now? Uh, uh, just as I thought. Well then, let's go talk to the people in town and get their side of the story. Are you okay with this, Estelle? Yes, Yuri. If we're unlucky, this could put all of us on the wrong side of the law. The one who makes the laws in this town is his lordship, the Empire's magistrate. You be okay with defying him? I'm going with you. You're okay with it then? Yes. Rita, you don't have any problems with it? I have to say, I'm incredibly interested in a Blastia that can control the weather. Then it's decided. So then, let's seek out the Ribgoro first. You never could sit still, could you? Stop treating me like a little kid. Yuri, don't do anything reckless. I haven't done anything reckless since the day I was born. I'm just chasing after a Blastia thief. Yuri. You're the one who should ease up on trying to do the impossible, Flynn. Witcher, go and see if we can get the right to search Blastia laboratories. I thought leaving the capital would have changed him a little, but it seems like he's even more reckless than before. Flynn? Yuri's so single-minded when it comes to protecting others. He's willing to sacrifice himself to do it. I envy him for that, but I also worry that he'll take it too far. Come on, Estelle. Let's go. Yuri's gonna leave us behind. Right. We should be going now. Oh, by the way, Lady Estelle's. Yes? How... how is it, walking around outside, free? I can't say everything's been perfect, but I realize that there are things I must do. And that makes me happy. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Hey, Rita. What did Flynn mean about search and seizure rights to Blastia Laboratories? Oh, that. Basically, if you're on an official Imperial Blastia investigation, you can go anywhere you want. Are you serious? Why bust our butts when the Knights can do that? I don't think they can. There are plenty of exceptions that can block their authority. That sounds like what I've come to expect from the Empire.
This isn't over yet. We got a long way to go. Come on, let's take it back with us. It's covered in scars and bruises. I feel kind of sorry for it. I reckon it's been attacked by desperate townspeople quite a few times. It's not the people in town's fault. No, I understand. Yuri? The horn is what's so valuable, right? This will be enough to satisfy that money grubbing magistrate. Wow. It's not like you to show pity to a monster. While you guys are busy talking, the monster's getting up. What? Why did it run away? Okay. It understood what we were thinking. The monster did? Seriously? Hey, we got the horn. Who cares either way? From behind? Oh, man. Cowards! Oh, damn it! We finished them off! I finished them I won't lose! Ha! 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 Drag it over! Ha! You want revenge? Bring Leave it to me. No way you could win! You can't go out again after that girl went through the trouble of healing your wounds. Where are you off to with that dangerous weapon? That's no business of yours. I can't have you sticking your nose into my affairs just because you're curious. This is... Sorry for stealing your thunder back at the inn. Maybe this will make it up to you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Uh, hold on! You're just giving it to them? It's a small price to pay if it saves their child's life. You were planning on doing this from the beginning, weren't you? Nope. It just came to me. You do realize that you just gave away our gift for the Magistrate, right? Now what do we do? No worries. We'll just find some other way to get into the Magistrate's place. Shall we see how Flynn's doing then? Yeah! Maybe he's even gotten into Rago's palace already and set things straight! Yeah, that sure would be nice. Let's go pay a visit to the inn. I guess the Empire likes to throw its weight around no matter where you go. Before I left the capital, I didn't know or care about anything besides the lower quarter. It's not everywhere, but I feel like the Empire's influence is especially strong on Elikia. They can do whatever they want since there aren't any major guilds on Elikia. We can't just let it stay this way.
You're looking chipper as always, Flynn. I've got a lot on my mind, Yuri. Not that you'd know what that's like. <laughs> Managed to go out and get your bounty raised even higher? I thought you went to the Magistrate's place. I went. Along with a search warrant from the Blastia Research Lab. Ah, so you were able to go inside and look around. No. The Magistrate refused us entry. Why? He even tried to provoke us. If you really think I have Blastia, try to bust your way in, he said. He knows we don't have the jurisdiction to do that. He's just making a mockery of us. Well, isn't he right? What did you say? Yuri, whose side are you on? It's not a matter of whose side I'm on. If you think you're right, you should force your way inside. No, it's a trap. Rago wants the Imperial Guard to make a mistake so he can use it as an excuse to increase the authority of the Council. If we go in now, he'll hide the evidence and feign innocence. Is Magistrate Rago on the Council as well? Yes. The Imperial Knights and the Council are both essential organizations that support the Empire. But Rago seems to have forgotten this fact. So in short, we're not dealing with your everyday Magistrate here. Well, have you got a plan for what you're doing next? What, you're out of ideas? If there were some sort of disturbance inside the palace, the Imperial Knights would be able to move in under the pretense of emergency prerogative. Ah, yes. The Imperial Knights may employ emergency prerogative to intervene in emergency situations, regardless of jurisdiction. Of course. So if a thief snuck in and caused a ruckus, that'd be enough? Yuri, I know you want to help, but... But I shouldn't do anything reckless, right? I've just received a tip that a fugitive with a warrant out for his arrest is trying to get into the Magistrate's palace. 